Ghana is privileged to be the first country to receive the COVID-19 vaccine from the COVID facility. Mind you, there are some African countries who have actually received their vaccine, but Ghana is privileged to be the first ever country to receive the COVID-19 vaccine from the COVID facility. Now, let me give you a brief summary about the AstraZeneca. So when you're injected with the vaccine, within a period of 65 seconds, your immunity will actually be boosted. And earlier studies show that older people as well as younger people appear to have equal immune response to the vaccine. My name is Priscilla Moore and welcome to Broad Daylight. Today on Broad Daylight, it's all about the COVID-19 vaccine that has currently arrived at the Kotoka International Airport. But before then, my sister Lydia will help me with the site review. All right, so Lydia, <laughs> what do you have on cmonline.com.gh? Okay, good morning. My name is Lydia Aka. Welcome to cmonline.com.gh. Today on our side review, on our first story, we have Akufuado to be first Ghanaian to receive COVID-19 vaccine and also Akufuado hint at expansion of Council of State. We also have Ghana receives COVID-19 vaccines today and we must prioritize Ghana's local language advocacy for local dialects. First, no one's ever seen, no. And then uh, if we do Ghana has it, that's the everyone is talking about the vaccine and all that. Some people are complaining, say they will take the vaccine. Hmm. Mm, because <laughs> we've heard rumors of side effects and all that. But if you want to know details of all this, join us in our discussion with Priscilla. Well, my name is Lydia, so that'll be all for the side review. Over to you, Priscilla. Oh, thank you so much, Lydia. Let's just get straight to business for the day. I'm so excited, super excited because the vaccine is in. 600,000 doses of AstraZeneca vaccines have actually arrived here in Ghana, specifically in the Kotoka International Airport. In a press statement, Ghana Health Service, in collaboration with the, the government, have actually given a layout procedure as to how the first phase of the vaccine will go. And in an interview, it was revealed that the President of the Republic, the Nada Dankwa, will be the first person to actually receive this COVID-19 vaccine before they categorize people. But Lydia will actually help me with the digestion of the press release and then how the whole interview went. Okay, this was made known by the Presidential Advisor on Health, Dr. Anthony Siasari. In an interview, he was saying that Ghana is expecting its first consignment of COVID-19 vaccines by the close of this week. Well, it came in today. For some, the side effects are their concern. That's the Ghanaians. But the financial advisor on health, Dr. Nisya Sari, says such reactions are normal. But the Kufuad will be the first to be vaccinated. This is to ensure Ghanaians that the vaccine is received and any other reactions like headaches, dizziness, or pains are usual with every vaccination, he assured. That's like it's normal to have headache or other normal reactions. He noted that the government is introducing applications and call centers for booking and monitoring of exercises. We are even thinking of introducing apps so that people can book for vaccinations. We will also set up call centers and send SMS to people on date and time of their vaccination. According to him, it is in the interest of the country for people to avail themselves to vaccinate. We encourage everyone to avail themselves to vaccinate. It is safe and we want other Ghanaians abroad to also put out their videos to encourage others in Ghana. Some 20 million Ghanaians are expected to vaccinate, which begins today. That's according to the Presidential Advisor on Health, Dr. Anthony Siasar. He's assuring Ghanaians that we shouldn't be afraid. It's normal to have reactions after the vaccine, like normal dizziness, headaches. It's not like there will be much side effect as Ghanaians are exaggerating. So we should relax because the parents will be the first person to be vaccinated. So, so on our press statement by the Ministry of Information, he is saying the government of Ghana is taking delivery of 600 doses of AstraZeneca COVID-19 vaccine aimed by the Serum Institute of India today, February 4, 2021. This is the first consignment of vaccine required through the COVID-19 vaccine global assets family COVAX, which with Ghana among 92 countries have signed on. COVID-19 vaccination will be conducted in phases among segmented populations. The first segment of the population that will receive from the 600 doses will health workers, adults 60 years and above people with underlying health conditions, frontline executive, legislature, judiciary, and their related staff, frontline security personnel, some related leaders, essential workers, teachers, and other personalities in Greater Accra Metro, including Eutu Senior East in the Central Region. A similar segmented population in the Greater Kumasi Metro and Obuasi Municipality will also be covered. From 2nd March, the COVID 19 vaccine will be deployed in health facilities and designated centers in these geographical regions. The government of Ghana remains resolute at ensuring the welfare of all Ghanaians 
and is making frantic effort to occur adequate vaccine to cover the entire population through bilateral and multilateral agencies. We urge you to do your part by ensuring that you get vaccinated when the vaccine gets to you. We acknowledge the hard work of technical teams from Ghana Health Service, the Ministry of Health, the Ministry of Information, the COVID-19 Tax Force and all those who have assisted in getting us this far. Our development partners are also acknowledged for their tremendous financial and technical support. It is our hope that we will continue to support support us in our sustained effort in combating this virus and putting COVID-19 behind us. Well, this is a press release from the Ministry of Information concerning the arrival of COVID-19 vaccine oh. here today. Yeah. Wow. Oh, okay. So now the, the, the COVID-19 vaccine Yes, yes. And they are there it's for today. Okay. And they have categorized the number of people. People who are eligible to take the vaccine. You have frontline executive, you have judiciary, legislature, you have frontline security personnel, some religious leaders, essential workers, you have teachers, other personalities. Oh, okay. So, if I may recall, there came an allegation that people with underlying health conditions mm. uh, and the won't be vaccinated. So, this press release is actually saying something different. Mm. Adults, 60 years and above, be vaccinated. Okay. People with health conditions. So, the more we are in, uh -huh, they'll be the first to be vaccinated. And so, all right now, so, what's the only system now? It's already weak. That's to be vaccinated before ah yeah yeah one more day can Oh okay, and I think um the reason why they want to vaccinate these people, especially those with underlying health conditions, and um people above sixty plus, yeah. is because according to research, the AstraZeneca vaccine works for like sixty five seconds, yeah. and when it enters into your immune system, it works as a booster to the immune system. So the energy a sixty five year old is going to get yeah. when vaccinated well, is equivalent good. to the energy the a young person maybe twenty nine years mm. or something will be also happen in okay. the immune system. So that's what um, research actually showed, that it has an equal strength when it comes to um, boosting of immune mm -hmm. system. And then um, the COVID-19 vaccine is, is, is actually something, it's a worry to Ghanaians because yes. we don't really know how it works and then um, how, effective how effective it will be. And then there is also an allegation that what if there will be um, maybe some complications? Is there anything <laughs> that... Well, complications, according to the advisor to the president, there will be some small reactions like headache, dizziness. According to him, it's normal. Because are like... The vaccine is new to the body, so you experiencing all these reactions, and it's normal. It's not like anything serious, uh, like we should panic. So he's ensuring that he say, say, if vaccinated, now so we now say we take power, we pass all that. It's normal. You shouldn't panic. All health organizations they have said, like people will compensated the countries if they have any side effects because they signed an agreement before they they receive the vaccine. Like the countries who wait for the vaccine, they send an agreement. So if you have any reactions now, nah, it will compensate you. I think they already have tested it and know say it's good, but people still are complaining. So they are saying that if you have any reactions now, nah, according to the whole World Health Organization, you will be compensated, like, rather than going to court and all that. Yeah. Compensated? Who is going to be compensated? Like, like the country. No, no, nah, nah, the, the country. Because I say, in kind of us, you know, I demand individually. So if someone manages to say like people are complaining, they have reactions now, they will compensate us because all this kind of They will compensate us with what? When <laughs> yeah. Yeah, when somebody has been vaccinated mm. and there is a severe complication that is coming with it. Well, and, they are <laughs> and they are telling me that uh, they are they, they, compensating the country. Meanwhile, it is an individual who has taken the vaccine. So exactly. when they compensate the country, <laughs> how, what? And the measures of course, in place. Uh, the vaccine went in for it as a country, not individually. Was the but yeah, Ghana. This as yeah, I know, but Ghana for your went free India mm -hmm. and our world health. I say we send an agreement say if anything happens, that uh, this and this will be done. So they are saying, say, say, yeah, the Maya and I say people taking almost so, like they have a reaction, serious reactions now, they'll compensate the country <laughs> instead of say, I say, oh, Boka, I saw Kotan, oh, Boka, visa. Well, huh, that's what they are saying. So and the assurance said there's no side effects, so we should relax because the president will be the first person to be tested. <laughs> oh, first gentleman of the land, no contest here. Charlie, all shows are like the thing is good and all that. But now, our, 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 our worry is you know, some, some parts of the African country have actually received yeah. uh, a couple of vaccines from a couple of uh, 
facilities like the South Africans and the Tanzanians, yeah. But like, um, according to what the government is saying, Ghana is the first to receive a COVID-19 yes. vaccine from the COVID facility. Yes. That means that this vaccine that is coming from this particular facility, Ghana is the first yes, sure. to have received a, 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 a vaccine from them. That means there are various facilities that are produced vaccines. Yes, so what is the probability? Because now it's not we are the first. Yes. So if any implication, you will be the first to have. And and as a and I'm not sure. Yeah. We are the first country to receive us from these people. So we don't know how it works. Uh -huh. Other countries don't know you know what test why say whether it's good or bad. That's we been the first. You know, they have a Ghana form. Say they won't do it. People are when on social media. People are saying say the MP should test first. Social media. I'm saying she won't take it. The MP for no more. We can't put no more cover So if anything. Like she and Sia will do it, but me, what I can say is if that thing is no good, and Caprice, the common the thing is it's expensive. So, if I think safe, saying Kenya and common got on Bagana, wait, so now the president will be the first person yes. to be vaccinated. Will it be telecast? Well, <laughs> that one, yeah, what they do you propose? Because people, uh, with that, too many doubts, doubting towers, okay. Around. So, me, what I think is it will better say. During the process, normally you know, now because then I'm more telecast say they bringing the vaccine on TV today, no. I'm more you know now. Then I'm more because I'm more you know now. Then 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 but I, I I know where you are coming from. Say, president is going to be tested and not come and It will look some way, but no, he 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 is serving as an example. Yeah. You know, if you are advocating that people should get vaccinated, it's true, it's definitely true. there should some there should be something. That's that what some guys are saying on social media. Say, MPs no more so lie. Now you who say I'm more quiet, but we must say trust issues. We must say president no be omu dinisho ne be guru muna wakase wakase ne guru muna. Wow, into a mu na say. On my own, how the process is, sir. I'm more testing that. That would be better. Yes. Yes, because who see say yes. President Tanya or Jefferson, so it means it's good. We all go for it, my dear. So if I heard you clearly, you were saying that um, in the in the press statement or in the statement that you just read, that people outside mm -hmm. they are advocating that they, they take maybe video um, recordings of themselves telling us how effective the vaccine is. What do you make of that? First of all, I think it's a good thing because. I believe my family member abroad recording a video saying he said the vaccine is real than the MPs or the president here because my family member are tested in or UK or say the vaccine is real so I'll be willing to take it because on what catch him other than trusting someone outside say president like I said we're testing because president is not quite any meaning will be my family member I trust them enough to say say what kind of I'll go for it so I think say they're encouraging us to help outside no like because no as you we don't know where it's coming from. Charlie, they telling us I think it's a good thing. And then um according to what you also read in your prayer statement, they made mention of the fact that um there are so many vaccinations that we have done, like polio vaccinations and other vaccinations and they all have a little bit of side effects to people. Yes. So my question now here is that um how how is the process like over the day and son and work or what person now now say okay so like all this what do you suggest the government should do well the vaccine you get in reaction and all this and it boils down to how they are keeping the vaccine okay because this year they are buying never Ghana here for the money go go this year a buy no it's a one country we have money go go this year or some money go go some storage there 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 like facilities be be a day. In the facility some go how safe is the place and how neat or how clean is the place because we are done if anything a cover since this year, it will affect our health. Because here we have vaccine. So I mean I think say And it should be in a room temperature. Uh -huh, temperature, huh? Still Because it don't know I say I don't know say it has a specific time or a best for you. I don't know say a five hours there, that one I don't know. Because someone can't share it. She said how fast you cry corona we know corona need mana. Yes. That's that another uh, question that we should be asking yes, ourselves. Yes, yes. That Ghana is now the first country, country. to receive from this particular facility, yes. the COVID fa facility. So, what is the probability that um, <laughs> Obi, El, 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 
injection and I say oh, oh, take it vaccination oh, oh, corona viewer and I say and I, does that mean that when we are done with the vaccination of about two million people or two we million, are done. We are done. I think we need all this education. Because first of all me me like or not again on names of on your vaccine no smarts on shabby. And I said still we wear the no smarts. But according, according to research and what they are putting okay. out there um, they are saying that the vaccine that has come is actually going to make Ghanaians go back to their normal lifestyle. Oh, okay, so in other words, as a woofer, you're okay. That's what they are saying. Um, <laughs> but other countries who so, obey the vaccine but still are still your corona. Yes, so, that, 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 that is the problem now because mm. um, them to, they got it from different facilities. Mm. And we are having it from a different <laughs> facility. Now we are the first to tell from the different Who ones. This yes. <laughs> well, personally, Nina, eh, you know, we all have a role to play in all this because I, I don't think so. We never see now. We never corona game. Mm -hmm. So as a boy, now, before that time, you say, as I know, we never see now. Charlie, we are free. We are not compatible. We are not here. But Charlie, it doesn't end there. We never see you cry. Keep wearing your nose mask. Keep wearing washing your hands properly and all that because as I the thing is part of us now. In the end, so we never see now. They are okay now. Me, I think that. They should advise us, like give us more education about after the vaccine, like the ABC after the effect, effect of the vaccine, because people are thinking it's only vaccine now, you're okay. But I, mean, I don't think they're okay because people only mm -hmm. vaccine, but still they're still getting corona. Oh, mm -hmm. I think say the Ghana Education Service and the Ghana Health Service they have a role to play right now in educating really Ghanaians more because surely, but ordinary Ghanaian not to worry about all of these things. Uh huh. Because because we send the vaccine by. So we need more education on this corona or something. Oh, okay, and 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 I also think that now that the vaccine is in, people should be very, 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 very cautious. Mm. You know, hey, maybe when you take the vaccine, you are not supposed to take other drugs. Yeah, these true. are all parts of the education. People with underlying health condition, what is the probability that when the vaccine enters them, it won't maybe submerge or subdue exactly. a, a, a medication that they are taking? You know, so like these are all things that we should put into consideration yes. now that the vaccine is in. So if they are going to start with people with, with underlying health condition, judiciary and stuff, I believe that they have to make it clear that mm. as you are taking the vaccine, maybe. Um, the drug that or the medication that you are taking, you have to halt it, hmm. or you you can take it and nothing will happen to you. It will work on its own, so that people will be abreast and know um, what they are going in for. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Now, what, what would you say to people? Some people they, they have the notion that oh, COVID or vaccine or no vaccine, they are not taking anything. <laughs> COVID or nothing, they are not taking anything. What do you have to say to people <laughs> like that? Well, first of all, no, we shouldn't be ignorant with this corona something because corona is real. It is there. People still don't believe the corona because in the social media and the people are asking about it. Some comments are saying, say, we didn't take it now, they want to kill us. They just want to kill us. The vaccine is poisonous and all that. Shalemunia. It's not poisonous. I'm almost starting to from people are still dying right now. Corona is sterile. So what I can say is keep wearing your nose max, wash your hands frequently, use sanitizer. It's I feel some way because as I'm a come so you two keep wearing it. It's a part of you because you're going to need to stay. It's a part of Mumbai and Mumbai. And yes, this is where we will draw today's curtains on broad daylight. Finally, the COVID 19 vaccine is in. There are faces to how the whole vaccination process is going to go. So the president to take the judiciary frontline workers security persons of the states, teachers, people with underlying health conditions, people above 60, and so many people. It's in faces, so partial say, do in China. Make sure that you avail yourself and take the COVID-19 vaccine. Don't say that it is polluted or something, but mind you, according to them, there will be some minor, minor conditions after much, maybe head, slight headache or one or two things. According to them, it is normal, so there is no need to um, panic or something. But, but one thing we are also proposing is that the education should be more. Um, people with underlying health conditions, how favorable is the vaccine for them because well, let's submit the drugs they are taking or something, all these things are supposed to be known. We are all supposed to be aware of this particular thing. So 
I believe that um, it's a good step in the right direction, but that doesn't mean that we should stop wearing our nose masks and washing our hands and using our hand sanitizers and observing social distancing protocol. I know that this too shall pass, as the president always said, but we have to be cautious of the things that we do. Okay, my name is Priscilla Moore. I was here with the lady Aqua, and this is Broad Daylight. Until our next episode, it's a bye.